The Immortal John Hancock here, and recently I've been doing a lot of At Games product reviews, and they sent me a new product that they have not done before. This is the Legends Flashback, and what it is, is it's a combination of some console games, some arcade games, all together in one nifty package. It includes 50, 50 arcade games, including an SD card slot, and two controllers. I'm gonna do an unboxing, I'm gonna play it. Let's check it out. All right, here we go, Legends Flashback. This is gonna be in the $50 range, and it's gonna be available at major retailers, including Walmart. And it comes with two controllers and console. Let's see what it comes with. Real quick, I wanna show you the back side. That is a lot of arcade games, and there's some really great classics on there. You got like Strider, but then you got some like obscure shooters, and, and some other stuff too. You got Darwin on there. And it's like, wow, that's, that's kind of a weird, eclectic combination of stuff. And then you have like Mega Man and Mega Man 2. Weird. So anyways, you have the box here. And you open it up. And it comes with just kind of a standard like instruction sheet fold out. Kind of talks about instructions, how to play etc and this is what where the packaging gets kind of weird okay so you see this comes with one controller it comes with two controller looks like kind of a small six button and it's nine pin by the way not usb power adapter and you have a little itty bitty tiny console has SD card slot in the back. Kind of nifty. Really tiny. But what's missing? <laughs> That's right. It doesn't come with an HDMI cable. But better than the Flashback 9 packaging, at least on the packaging now, it says HDMI cable not included. I have to say, like I said on my Flashback 9 review, that's a silly idea not to include a necessary component to hook it up to a TV. I mean, yes, there's a lot of HDMI cables that some people have, but possibly to this casual gaming market, the only HDMI cables people might have are the ones that they're using for other devices. And so, yeah, that's frustrating. That's really frustrating that a simple HDMI cable, I mean, I can't add more than $5 to the entire package and I just I just think that was a silly move but nevertheless um, let's go see how the let's just see how it works using another HDMI cable I have and let's check it out combination of arcade classics as well as some obscure stuff and a couple console games makes me wonder what can be done with that SD card so you have featured games and go down to A to Z, you can see a weird eclectic combination of games. You have everything from classics like 1942, Burger Time, and then Commando. You got some great Capcom games. Astro Fantasia. That doesn't come to mind when I think of like having a combination of arcade stuff. You got weird stuff like Darwin, Ford 78. You got Dig Dug, Galaga. And you got uh, other stuff, fighting ice hockey. Might have to check that out later. And then you got console classics like Mega Man and Mega Man 2. Really weird. And Judge Dredd's on here. You have Joe and Mac, and, and both Joe and Mac. Joe Mac and Joe Mac Returns. Heavy Barrel, Lock and Chase. And you, know, you have some Felios, Rally X, Side Pocket, Secret Agent. It's just, it's just weird combination. And then you have Tetris, which I thought was the arcade version, and I don't know. I, I don't know if I've seen this version of Tetris. It might be just, I haven't played it in a while, but there you have it. So let's go ahead and jump right into arcade games. And I'm gonna jump into my favorite. I have to play it. I have to see it. I have to know how good it's looking. 
So we go down here and go right to Ghouls and Ghosts and have to play it. So what's really cool about this also, I just tested this in the six and three button Sega Genesis controllers do work. It's neat. The console itself just has a menu button on top and so there isn't any special buttons on the Genesis controller. So you might need a six button controller to play with the fighting game, especially Street Fighter 2. So you just press its load sequence which takes a while we'll get to this you have to press menu and then insert coin this way kinda of weird and it'll insert the credits and you can only do like four at a time Thought that was kind of weird. Press start button. And it's just kind of neat to have the arcade version start button. And it's just kind of neat to have the arcade version of Ghosts and Ghosts. I, I love the arcade version. I love the fact that it has save slots. Again, plays great. The controller looks pretty good. I have to say the controller comes with it decent. For being a two pack in, there's two kind of light, but you can use your favorite Sega Genesis controller. And I have to say, this plays pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. I definitely uh, want to play more of it to check it out, but I, I thought it was pretty good. So it's an iconic classic. You want to save it? You just go there, you go down to save slots, press A on the controller. A to save, and it's saved. And then you want to go back to it. You go resume game. You go to save slots. You can show it's saved right there. Great. You want to load, press B. Nice and fast. All right, let's play another game. So we'll go ahead and go down here. This. So let's go ahead and play something else. And you go in here, you can go right here, and you can go down. You can turn the scan line on and off. It keeps the original aspect ratio. I like that, but I, I oh, now you can add four. Okay, so you can add four credits. So here it is, Super Street Fighter 2. And I really thought this was a great addition to the lineup of the unit. And using the controllers provided, this played well. I really liked it. It, it was responsive. I really liked the fact that you can use your Sega Genesis controllers on the unit. Now here's a weird one, Edward Randy, the cliffhanger. And this is a really bizarre arcade game. And this is where I ran into problems. Like the Super Retrocade, there are games in which the sound doesn't work correctly. And so this is one of the games on the unit that the sound had some weird hiccups. I don't know what that was about. Some games were great. This was a game in which it had some major, I don't know, I don't know how I'd describe it like sound clipping or it, it it just stuttered it was it was definitely noticeable um it was the type of game in which you know the sound was so bad i i i couldn't i couldn't play it anymore it was it was that bad i had to turn it off so there you have it the legends flashback is a combination of pros and cons the pros it works with sega genesis controllers i tried both a six and a three button and you know the cons, it doesn't come with an HDMI cable, I still, I still can't believe that, as well as it has some sound issues on a couple of the games. It has a wide spread of games on it though, including console, which makes me think that, you know, can it run emulators? Can it run other things? I'm very curious on to see what other games can be added to this. It does remind me of another product that I talked about and was very popular. And that's the Retrobit Super Retrocade. 
And you know, that was a popular product where you could add a bunch of games to it. I wonder if you can do that with this. It'd be cool. And so at the end of the day for 50 bucks, yeah, I, it's worth the, worth the try. I think it'd be a great gift. I do think that, um, you know, it's gonna be bothersome for some for the sound issues. So there you have it. This is my product review. I've done a lot of them recently and I wanna thank everybody for all the support. Please hit that like button. Please hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much. This is the Immortal John Hancock. Thank you and you take care.